What's up everybody? Down in Chelsea. I'm on my way to Buffalo Exchange because I'm attempting to get rid of a lot of clothes. And I'm giving up on Poshmark. It takes way too long to sell something. People really lowball you. And I cannot have bags and bags and bins full of clothes just sitting there waiting to be sold. So I'm going to Buffalo Exchange. Shout out to my friend Rose for even letting me know about them. So yeah, that's basically where I'm at. That's where I'm going. Um, by the way, this wall behind me, how dope, how dope is that picture? It's gonna be a fun, kind of casual, follow me around New York City type of day. I have no idea what I'm getting into other than like going to Buffalo Chase, but I don't know, whatever. Hopefully it's fun and you guys enjoy. I always got these expectations. No one loves me like I'm I'm ready whenever you are, you let me know. One thing I didn't use to do before that I did that I do now is put it on the floor. I I do it, you know, depending on the ground. But so that it doesn't cosmetics get fed up, you just put it on top of your shit. If it's wood, you, you can you can go on the floor. Are these like photography tips or just camera tips? It's not photography tips, it's just more like the routine, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. What is the routine of a photographer? You know, you set your stuff up, just the uh, viewfinder. So what happens is sometimes sometimes this dial over here moves and what a lot of photographers made a mistake on is never checking this. Which dial? This one right here. It blurs your viewfinder. And some guys are like, yo, where's my shot coming out? Blurry. They're probably in focus, but they don't know that they have to adjust that real quick. Mm -hmm. We are out and about because I have to shoot What's the name of these it? earrings, um, full line, or you could full? just put earrings, like full and then oh, line. Like full. Yeah. They sent me some pieces, full line collections. I'm just shooting some pictures so I can post them on Instagram. And I'll show you the rest once we get to like where we're definitely going to be shooting at. But they're giving my followers 15% off, so you just use my code Miriam15. I'll have the information here on the screen and also in the description box so you guys can check it out. So, perfect time if you guys are shopping for any fashionistas in your life. They have some really cute pieces. I picked out these cute leopard pair and I have two other ones that I'm going to be shooting. So, I try to go for things that match the clothes I already have in my closet or anything that I've been, you know, really wanting. So. I've been trying to film this outro for I don't know how long so it's two days after the whole Buffalo Exchange experience basically it wasn't what I was expecting I didn't really know what to expect to be honest with you I had two really big bags of clothes the wait time I mean it was a really long line but I will say that it moved pretty quickly but they didn't really take a lot of my clothes and I was I don't know I guess I I expected that they would because I had a lot of things that 
still had tags on them and that I've never ever ever worn before um, I really think that the person that I had they call them the buyer I think she was just being really really picky because there was this guy he was like two people in front of me so when I was like the next person up he was to the buyer closest to me and I was listening to what she was telling him and just being really nosy af just to see what they were accepting from him and so when i saw what she took i was like oh okay then they shouldn't have a problem with my stuff because my stuff is like practically it looks really good but no that wasn't the case they barely took anything so then i went up the block to crossroads as you guys saw and the only thing they took was like a forever 21 bag so they didn't really take much of anything either which was really annoying they didn't want any blazers because they're like we're more trendy we're not like corporate but none of my blazers are like corporate they're like very stylish trendy blazers like faux leather blazers and studded blazers and things like that and the girl that i had at crossroads i had asked her a question like right when i walked in and she was telling me that anything that they don't take from you that they they'll take it and donate it on your behalf if like you don't want to take it with you so i was like great because i didn't want to be walking around the entire city with two big bags of clothes and so when it was finally my turn to go up she was like actually we're not really supposed to take your stuff and donate it for you but you can go to the girl of the box so i'm like you know what i was not trying to walk around the city looking for another place that i could sell my clothes to and i just decided to go to goodwill and donate it which is fine with me because i have never attempted to sell clothes before this was the first year that i attempted that on poshmark and then also going to buffalo exchange i typically just donate my things anyway but i had so much that was new and i still had tags on them i was like let me see if i could get something for this you know like i don't know I'm trying to earn a little bit of money here but it didn't work out for me so wasn't what i was expecting at all i don't know if i would do it again i'm kind of like whatever the girl at buffalo exchange was saying that like if they're gonna take things from h&m for over 21 it has to be within like the last year to two years max because they really try to keep and they really try to keep stock of um whatever's in store like right now which i guess i kind of understand but at the same time i'm like then for that i just go to forever 21 at h&m and buy something like that doesn't even make any sense i don't think anything that's two years old is old anyway but whatever obviously none of my summer stuff stuff either store took because it wasn't a season for that so that i was expecting but i still tried it anyway because again i was being nosy and i saw what other people had and i saw a lot of like things that i thought i could get away with but whatever i guess not so the first video i posted was the whole holiday gift set that was more of a casual vlog but shop with me type of vibe at target i'm not doing everyday vlogs like i did last year it's just a lot to do it's a lot to film edit and upload in one day this time of year it tends to slow down in the business but for some reason not complaining it's been really busy with auditions and i've said this before on the channel but acting is always my priority not that i don't like creating videos or anything like that but it's just always going to take the front seat should anything come up. So I have a lot of things that I need to work on uh, just to make sure that I'm ready for pilot season. I have to take headshots, I have to redesign my website, I have to take lifestyle photos, I have to re-edit my reel and create like a whole new reel and all that just takes a lot of time. And I didn't see much of a difference in my channel in terms of subscribers and engagement when I was like uploading every single day last year so I'm not going to kill myself with that. You know if I can do it I will but if I can't then you know. It is what it is life happens priorities have to shift and change according to like whatever's going on at the time so yeah that's vlogmas and i don't do like christmas themed vlogs for every single vlog i think that's a little bit od maybe that's just me but that's not like what i generally like go towards i think that's it i can't think straight because my head hurts and i need I need to take all this damn makeup off but i got all the shots that we needed to out in the park with the jewelry line i think everything looks really good i'm posting my first picture today that's it i'm tired i'm gonna take this makeup off and um yeah just make sure you subscribe just in case so you never miss a video let me know if there's anything you want to see in this whole like vlogmas season and i'll try to 
you know, I'll try to do that. 